we may have some people who have a strong interest in critical care who are watching and are not really sure what residency to go through because there's a lot of different specialties that you can end up in critical care from, right? And we work with a lot of different um, specialties as intensivists in the heart center. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, likewise, f after anesthesiology training, you can then go on to multiple different pathways. You can be a pain physician, you can be um, you know, a strict OR anesthesiologist, regional expert, et cetera. So maybe we can expand a little bit more on that, like what it means to be a cardiac mm -hmm. anesthesiologist and intensivist and how those complement mm -hmm. each other and mm -hmm. you know, how, how you came to that pathway. Did you know you wanted to do ICU first or did that come once you were an anesthesiologist? Um, I think, well, I think one of the great things about working in the Heart Center ICO at MGH is like you mentioned, we have intensivists from many different backgrounds. We have cardiologists, uh, we have emergency medicine physicians, we have cardiac surgeons who all work as intensivists with us in the Heart Center. Um, it's a primarily group of anesthesiologists, so we're the predominant background, but I learned so much from my colleagues who trained in different specialties, mm -hmm. so I think it's, it's really a benefit. And they ask us questions that pertain to our background in anesthesia, so we all get to benefit from the multidisciplinary background. But specifically, I think anesthesia is such a great uh, background to go into critical care with, because like David was saying, you learn how to manage an acute patient every day when you're in the OR because so much is happening to a patient even who comes in for a general uh, procedure that's not related to cardiac that's you know very abnormal compared to their usual physiology and so you learn to manage things very acutely to troubleshoot to handle crises and also to do a lot of different procedures which are very relevant for ICU care. So I think it really sets you up and gives you every tool to ha to be able to manage an ICU effectively, whether that's a cardiac ICU or a surgical ICU, uh, a general surgical trauma ICU, for example. Um, and I think one of the reasons that I wanted to go into ICU is that I, I was very interested in cardiac anesthesia and I really liked my time even as an intern in the uh, cardiac critical care, the medical cardiac critical care world. Um, and so I kind of knew early on, but uh, certainly there's many other things in anesthesia that can tempt you away, like mm -hmm. you were saying. Um, but I really like having more continuity of care with my patients and feeling like I get to know them and I get to know their families. And I specifically think that cardiac and ICU together make a really great combination. I, we're all three doing that or have done that. But um, knowing the cardiac surgeons well in the operating room, mm -hmm. I think it is such a benefit to caring for their patients in the ICU because, again, the communication, the trust is there. And when I call one of my cardiac surgery colleagues at two in the morning, they answer and they whatever I concern I have, they listen and they respond. And it's just, I'm not afraid to ask for their help or to let them know about a patient no matter the time of day. And I think that is rooted in my relationship with them that I formed in the operating room.